It is the 12th of the 3rd, 2012. This is today's climate change update. I've been gone way too long. Uh, did enjoy my time off. I feel much more relaxed and uh, I'm going to start doing these videos during my morning hours uh, instead of late in the wee hours of the morning, which takes a lot out of me, that kind of thing. I'm going to go ahead and start off tonight with a survey for YouTube. Uh, if you choose to let YouTube know that you are not happy with the current situation, uh, the channel setups and everything else is going on. They're having a survey put out. Uh, this is an opportunity for you to voice your concerns to YouTube directly. Uh, thanks to Skybird Bird for uh, bringing this to my attention. I'll provide a link, of course. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Earth Changes, SOT.net, Fukushima Dangerous Myths. Exposing No Harm Mantra. The myth that Fukushima radiation levels were too low to harm human persists a year after the meltdown. A March 2, 2012 New York Times article quoted uh, Vanderbilt University professor John Boyce, there's no opportunity for conducting uh, epidemiological studies that have any chance for success. Uh, these doses are just too low. Uh, Wolfgang West of the UN Scientific Committee on the Effects of Autom uh, Atomic Radiation also recently said doses observed in screening of Japanese people are very low. Views like these are political, not scientific. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut down to the links of that. But just one year after Fukushima, no harm mantra is now being crowded by evidence. Evidence to the contrary. And of course, we, uh, if you're paying any attention at all, you're seeing the things that are coming out of Japan. Uh, meteor strike hazard. All U.S. nuclear plants facing upgrades. Uh, Progress Energy's chief nuclear officer announced this week that every U.S. nuclear plant will add an extra layer of emergency equipment this year to deal with unforeseen natural disasters, such as earthquakes, tornadoes, and even meteor strikes. Now, how are they going to fight a nuclear power plant against meteor strikes. It's insane. Uh, and they're going on to the story, uh, even a meteor strike, A, maybe they're taking note of the incredible number of fireballs entering the atmosphere, and there's a big list of uh, meteor activity that's been since uh, March 9th, March 4th, two of them, a whole bunch of them. Rare tornado touches down in Oahu, Hawaii, uh, they're having some crazy weather out there. A rare tornado blew off roofs and homes and left other damages in its path through the Hawaiian communities. Uh, weather officials confirmed on Friday the National Weather Service team surveyed damage and taking witnesses determined a water spout came ashore and was reclassified as a tornado. Uh, I'm not going to kill the names. About 7.30, of the 20-yard wide tornado traveled about a mile and a half in 15 minutes and with speeds reaching 60 to 70 miles an hour before it is uh, dissipating. So those look like it's probably an EF-0 tornado, but it did do some damage. Uh, they're reporting hailstones and other things as well. UN says 145 presumed dead in Afghanistan avalanche. Uh, at least 145 people are missing presumed dead after an avalanche hit a remote village in Afghanistan's northeastern uh, Baklashan province last week, the United Nations said on Saturday, uh, the Afghan officials had earlier in the day put a death toll from the series of avalanches in the province uh, district since uh, at 56. And uh, their extreme weather is just continuing. It's just how mild it is here in the States uh, temperature-wise. And Europe and Asia is just getting hammered with winter. Hammered, hammered, hammered. Dolphins rescued by beachgoers in Brazil. Uh, a bunch of people jumped in the water and pushed the dolphins back out to sea kind of thing. Uh, bat invasion. Colony of fruit bats in northern Australian town prompt disease warning. A town in North, northern Australia has been invaded by more than 250,000 bats. Prompted warnings uh, of a potentially fatal disease related to rabies. And uh, they're having uh, severe flooding and stuff out in that area. Weather bomb hits New Zealand afterwards. Huge eels found swimming in the streets. 
uh, they had a big deluge of rain, uh, rain and of course they, the locals were spotting these, these uh, ugly eels swimming up and down the street kind of thing. Uh, last year they were, they were reporting sharks swimming down Main Street in some of these towns. Fukushima and planetary genocide, the poisoning of the planet Earth. The most difficult thing of all is to see what is right on, right in front of your eyes. As we approach the tragic one-year anniversary of the Fukushima's multiple nuclear reactors accident on March 11th that initially affected the entire Japanese population, we now know that this nightmare has engulfed all of us. Uh, let us not also not forget that this is the third nuclear attack on the Japanese. The first two were Hiroshima and Nagasaki, of course. Given what we have not done to ensure public safety, we cannot think of it any other way. From the very first day, there were lies and massive cover-up of, of, the, of the extent of the destruction and the inherent radioactive dangers, not just from Japanese officials and TEPCO corporate reports, but also from the U.S. The Mark I reactors built by General Electric has design flaws. There are many of these same designed reactors in the United States. And the story goes on, of course. Uh, they found a new series of uh, species of sharks in the Galapagos Islands. And that's about all new they have today. Um, a couple moderate earthquakes in the Kashmir Valley in uh, 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 India, uh, Pakistan area. Look like a 5, 6, and a 4, 5, a very active area. Are honeybees heading towards extinction? Uh, we have all heard about the several animal species becoming extinct. Even in the modern world, humans have seen whole generations of some animals disappear. Will be bees become one of them? Some experts believe that bees could be about to die, and at least one-third of our food depends on pollination of the flowering plants. Einstein once said, if the bees disappear, mankind will only have four years of life. And they're saying all these colonies are dying here in the United States, and uh, they think that it was due to pesticide use. And uh, the insanity continues. Uh, NASA addresses 2012 fear, or 2012 fears and Nibiru rumors for the third time. Uh, basically, they got a they got a scientist sitting down, and he's saying, you know, hey, everything's cool, nothing's going to happen. Uh, reminds me a lot of some of these. Uh, speeches that the East Germans gave like 10, 12 days before the wall actually fell, saying that wall would stand for another thousand years. And, uh, of course, they're just telling you what you want to hear. U.S. military unveils, unveils non-lethal heat ray weapon to be deployed. Now, they're saying this isn't a microwave gun. They're going on about how this is, uh, this is only going to burn your skin and not cook your meat. And uh, you will be they were going to break up crowds with this thing. Uh, Caribbean plate stressed, Cuba and Jamaica rattled by tremors. And of course, that's another unstable area we've been watching. And uh, M8, another solar flare blasts, another CME heading towards Earth. Uh, we've had a series of these lately. Uh, the Earth, uh, the sun is definitely gearing up and kicking out. 5.6 magnitude earthquake strikes off the coast of Alaskan Peninsula. Uh, and I got a lot of volcano activity out there. And uh, 12 emissions reported at Mex Mexico's. Uh, their big volcano outside Mexico City in the last 24 hours. Uh, the drills continue in all the communities surrounding the volcano. Um, uh, that the drills will be permanent in the area. The state they have instituted special plan uh, where they indicated the performance of the drills needed to be performed at least every 15 days at random to include participants in all communities for evacuating in case this volcano actually erupts. And here's the Hawaiian weather takes unprecedented precedented turn towards the bazaar. And again, that's the tornado and uh, hail storms that they are experiencing. And the Colombian volcano waking up warns Colombian geologists. Uh, the Nevado del Ruz volcano, whose eruption 26 years ago killed around 25,000 people, is showing signs of activity after nearly 20 years of lying dormant. And uh, 
Remote Pacific Island slipping below the ocean. Plan launched to relocate entire population. This is not sea rise. This is due to the weight of all the melting water um, pushing this landmass down under the sea, these little islands, uh, due to the weight of all the extra water uh, from the melt-off. Um, and Scott Bugs um, Believers Underground covers that pretty extensively. Uh, Kamachka a volcano erupts, expels ash cloud eight kilometers into the air. Uh, they have several active volcanoes in that region. Uh, I will provide a link to um, all the ongoing volcanoes if you want to take a look at exactly what's uh, what's going off and what's active around the world right now. There's a website for that. And a couple more fear pieces. Uh, earthquakes in Japan increased fivefold after March 11th, 2011 earthquake. Uh, it's to be expected. Uh, it's just been crazy. That whole landmass is adjusting and sliding into the ocean slowly. Another Aleutian Island volcano stirs. La Mana volcano rumbling. No, no known eruptions recording, and this is in Alaska and that area. Um, in the Aleutian Islands kind of thing. And, of course, Cleveland Volcano explodes as ep epidemic of awakening across the planet continues, volcanic-wise. And uh, some more stuff. Volcano activity increases at Japan's Sacagawea Volcano. Uh, this is one of the volcanoes we've been watching. Uh, it's, it's pretty much an ongoing eruption, but some pretty massive eruptions going on uh, since last year. And uh, another volcano, Bizemini, one of the most active volcanoes in the world, have put on put on aviation color code red, the highest alert given uh, by the volcanic eruption response team, and warns of an imminent eruption. Activity of the volcano continuously increases, says the alert. Strong explosions up to 42,640 feet or 13 kilometers possible at any time. Tropical storm Irina, I-R-I-N-A, kills 72 in Madagascar and they've been relentlessly hit over and over again uh, this year with tropical storms and rains and floods and all of that. Uh, more war drum stories, more sun uh, solar flare stories, and that's about all new they have been going is electric magnetic phenomenon responsible for strange sounds being reported all over the world mysterious sounds have been heard booming from the sky all around the world in some cases they were so loud they set off car alarms unsettling noises were heard recently from Europe and Canada sounding like groans of a powerful horns in Germany noises came from the sky where were recorded on video camera and uploaded to YouTube with car alarms clearly heard going off in the background, but experts have said there's no rational explanation. University of Saskatchewan physics professor Jean-Pierre St. Maurice told CTV the geoscientist David Deming from University of Oklahoma, meanwhile, has previously written about the phenomenon called the hum, a mysterious and untraceable sound that is heard in certain locations around the world by 2 to 10 percent of the population. And uh, they're saying this might be electromagnetic in nature uh, as far as our magnetosphere is under stress right now and it is very very weak and we're being hit by these big CMEs and no telling what's really going on. They're not really going to tell us. And that is about all new I want to cover off of there tonight over to Ice Age now they're covering all the the major snow and stuff in Europe and Asia uh, Canada's new icebreaker able to operate in more difficult conditions uh, they're building a big icebreaker uh, for thicker ice and this just goes in the opposite of the, of the global warming where all the ice caps are melting why are they building this big ass boat Frost affects Moroccan banana producers badly. That's Africa, and Morocco. Um, ongoing, I say, very mild temperature-wise here in the United States this winter. Uh, a lot of the locals are saying this is the winter that never happened. 
Uh, definitely feels like April outside. My front door is open. And uh, the insanity continues. Heavy snowfall brings chaos to Belgium and northern France. Uh, tens of thousands of homes without power. Travel chaos for thousands more. What is happening in Romania, Bosnia, Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro, and Herzegovina? Just three weeks ago, record snowfall buried thousands of people. Alaska, the volcano alerts uh, level rise, of course. Uh, volcanism may have triggered the Little Ice Age. In turn, now sunspec, sunspot activity may have triggered that volcanism. And here we go again. Of course, we've got all these volcanoes gearing up. And again, I will provide a link if you want to see where all the volcanoes are going off. Record snowfall in Serbia and Montenegro. And of course, it goes into the Afghanistan avalanche stories and, and such. Over to the RSOE. Australia is having some major flooding again again this year. Uh, the state of New South Wales, uh, they're uh, declared a state of emergency. They're telling the people to get the hell out. And uh, they're sending riot police uh, to go into these communities to make sure there's no looting and what kind of thing. They're saying a few locals have stayed behind due to their concerns. Um, they're encouraging them to leave, but uh, you know how it goes. You know, stay at your own risk kind of thing after so long. Uh... They got a story out of Norway where a meteor hit a, a winter cabin. Uh, they're not exactly sure when the meteor hit, but uh, they found a big hole in the roof and a rock on the floor, and uh, somebody just made a lot of money. I'm saying like one of 18 recorded to hit in that country that they've actually recovered kind of thing. And of course all the volcano eruptions and other things that are going on on their long-term rolling events. Finally, over to the nuclear stuff, uh, ENA News. Um, airlines considered halting flight after Fukushima meltdowns. You know radiation. They are worried about radiation. U.S. official concerned commercial air traffic would be grounded, and they never did. Nuclear expert Fukushima is ten times worse than Chernobyl. Uh, that is putting it mildly. Fukushima is ongoing and will be ongoing for many 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 years to come Fukushima 50 workers speak out if you blame TEPCO for symptoms you were told not to come back 5,000 CPM internal radiation none of them trust anything TEPCO or the government says according to this article uh, the smoke it's black murmured Prime Minister uh, Khan after reactor number three exploded last year and that's the MOX fuel, the dirty plutonium fuel uh, reactor uh, that did explode. Nursery school teacher TEPCO worker told us to flee large cities 60 kilometers from meltdown. He suggested maybe we would be affected physically by radiation. Uh, this and after all these, these uber nuclear pro scientists are saying, oh, there's nothing going on and nobody's going to get sick about it. The insanity. A series of concerns about whether depopulation now a reality. Entire mountainsides to be removed. Bleak hardly does justice to assessment of Fukushima profe uh, professor's future. Uh, the Fukushima prefecture's future. Now they're talking about taking entire sides of mountain down, scraping them clean and getting them back to, to where they're not nuclear. Where are they going to put all of this stuff? They're going to dump it into the Pacific Ocean and uh, continue to pollute and kill uh, what is um, a major, major food source for the world. The insanity, the insanity continues. That's about all I'm going to cover for tonight. Uh, there's nothing seriously major going on more than, um, you know, we still got the tsunami debris coming up to the west coast. We have to deal with that and all the ongoing situations that is Fukushima. Uh, again, that's about all I have for you tonight. Uh, it's a big, long video. Uh, it's good to be back. Enjoy what I can, everybody. Thanks.